My name's Joe Pryor. I'm the president of Oaks Unlimited. We are blessed to live and work in the Appalachian Mountains of Western North Carolina. The company got started in 79 when my father was running his stave mill and sawmill. He purchased the uh, base facility here. We're high up, we're 3,000 feet above sea level, which is known for producing high quality timber. It's all true Appalachian material. All of our lumber is graded twice. So we grade it when it's green, which is fresh out of the log. After kill drying, that same material is gonna be regraded again, just to make sure that we are meeting and exceeding the NHLA grades. The reason that we take such great pains in the initial grading and stacking of the lumber is to, to make it dry flat. We have our pile bottoms and stick alignment, spacers, everything to ultimately give the customer the flattest and cleanest lumber possible. And the purpose of drying the lumber before your kills in covered sheds is it keeps it bright. We have always specialized in drying red oak and white oak. Drying four quarter through eight quarter thickness is something that uh, you don't see everyone attempt because the eight quarter is very difficult to dry. We like doing eight quarter uh, because it's tough to do and our customers appreciate that we're uh, extra careful with it. Our drying process has evolved over the years of doing it. We have 350,000 board feet of kill capacity per charge. We keep about 2 million feet in process at all times. While it's drying, we have the boards sitting on scales, so they're monitored 24-7. So we're always controlling the heat, the humidity, the fan speed in order to dry the lumber consistently and safely. After kill drying, we will take the lumber and we will put it across our dry line, which gives us an opportunity to determine the grade by an NHLA certified inspector. Our current inspector's got over 25 years experience. The lumber will be precision in trim, rilt if necessary to clean up any wane or side bend. We are packaging by hand, and that is labor intensive, but it's the best way to get your packs tight, flat, good square edges. We've always used a dark green end paint, and it identifies our product. We find our customers asking for that, or our customers' customers asking for that dark green lumber. We put a lot of attention into just the appearance, just the packaging of the lumber. It's going to be consistent. It's going to be flat and bright and square edged every time. We take a lot of pride in doing lumber and doing it right. We're excited about supplying our customers with something that makes them successful.